Easter today. Come on over here. We'll get you right in. Yeah, get right here. This guy.
give them a fish to try to play them. Memorial Day, Britta. Lord God, take care of the vast number of men and women who have died in the service of our country. We remember them. We have deepest thanks this day. May they rest in your peace. Memorial Day, five kilometer run, Britta. The weather is perfect for running. It's a beautiful Memorial Day. Five kilometers stretch out before you. It's easy to complete. I'm sure as you run with others, you'll feel you have wings on your feet. The runners you're with seem excited. They might be hard to control, so you'll run like the wind at the outset and finish like a leisurely stroll. Your socks are clean and fit perfect. Your shoes are light and well tied. Your carbohydrates are in you. They'll say, you man, like you fly. Your legs can feel the excitement. Your muscles are eager to be unbound. You wait for the starter to send you off with a sleep later. Later, you can sit on the sofa with friends who are cozy with plenty to say. The weather is perfect for running. Run safe and fast this Memorial Day. Amen. On your mark, get set, go!
stars and stripes and the eagle fly. It's a big old land with countless dreams and happiness ain't out of reach. Our work pays all the way it should. Yeah, I've seen enough to know we've got it good. Where the stars and stripes spirit and great love for each of us for he created us in his image in his divine image he created us male and female he created us and we were created just a little bit less than the angels and the crown and the crown with God's glory there is no greater love than this than to lay down one's life for his friends this is the reason why we're here today to give tribute respect remembrance and honor to the gallant men and women of our armed forces who obtained God's glory by laying down their lives for us and others who are called upon their help for they for they carry themselves as soldiers and they did it with God's grace may God bless their every soul protect their soldiers who now stand in harm's way pray to your God as I do mine may God bless this country and his love may God clothe this country in his care may God forever hold us and ours in his holy embrace and grant and grant us peace peace for God and country God bless America amen On behalf of the American Legion Post 259, Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 8164, Disabled American Veterans Post 110, and Lowell Chapter of the Korean War Veterans Association, we welcome you to our ceremony to honor those war veterans who gave their all. Here in Tuxbury, we have not forgotten the price our service members have paid to keep us free from harm. They each have stories to tell, crosses at Normandy, the tombs at Arlington Cemetery, the fallen heroes who rest in places unknown, and those that are here in all of Tuxbury cemeteries. From our founding revolution to today's war and terrorism, nearly one men and women in armed services have sacrificed their lives defending America in time of war. 70 years ago, Americans were still celebrating their great victory in the European theater, a triumph that came at an enormous price. But that cele celebration was tempered with the determination and sacrifice that still lay ahead. 
As Americans and their allies were engaging in the Japanese in ferocious fighting in the Pacific, the numbers of our fallen heroes are not statistics. They are real men and women with real families who lived in towns just like Tuckberry. We can best honor their sacrifice by remembering their families who have lost so much long after the battlefield guns have been silenced and the bombs stop exploding. The children of our fallen warriors will still be missing a parent. Spouses will be without their life partners. Parents will continue to grieve for their heroic sons and daughters that died way too early. We need to be there for them, not just as a member of the Chuckberry families, but as American citizens. Nobody can replace their fallen heroes, especially in the eyes of their families. But we can offer shoulders to cry on and assurances that their loved ones sacrifice will not be forgotten. As the unofficial beginning of summer, let us never lose focus on what Memorial Day means. It's not about beaches, picnics, or races. Is it a day to remember? Remember our fallen once a year is not enough. The widows, widowers, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, and children remember every day. The empty seat at a dinner table, the smaller gathering on Thanksgiving, and the voice of a loved one heard only as a distant memory in one's mind are, are constant reminders that they are gone. We owe it to the heroes that died and the ones, loved ones left behind to make sure that the heroes sacrifice uh, remembered I remembered and that their service to this nation will always be honored. Finally, as we do every year, we would like to recognize those that have given their time to make our Memorial Day ceremony a success. To the Tuxbury Memorial Cemetery, Kathy, Superintendent Kathy Haynes, for the loving and dedicated Care shown toward the veterans resting in peace here. On behalf of all our veterans, thank you, Kat. We will also recognize the ladies of the Cooksbury Senior Center craft group. They arrange the wreaths that are placed around town at various intersections, commemorating our veterans that have given their all so that we may enjoy our freedom. We also thank the Eagle Scouts, Boy Scouts, and Girl Scouts that have placed the reefs at the appropriate locations and to the senior center swinging seniors for giving their time to help us remember the great country that we live in. Finally, we would like to pay special thanks to the Tuxbury Veterans Agent, Ms. Lisa Downey. Lisa has worked tirelessly to ensure that our veterans are properly remembered and cared for. We will now ask, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Panelitis, Vice Chair of the Board of Selectmen. Thank you. On behalf of the Town of Tewksbury, my colleagues on the Board of Selectmen, the School Committee, and all other town officials, I want to welcome you to this Memorial Day ceremony. Thank you to Lisa Downey, our Veteran Service Officer, and everyone else that has worked so hard to organize this event and the parade to follow. Before I introduce any of our uh, state delegation for any of their brief comments, I wanted to share a few of my own on this important day. Much is made in the current media environment about the often unfair and outsized benefits to the 1%. Of course, in that context, we are referring to the economic 1%. On this Memorial Day, when we gather to recognize the ultimate sacrifice of those that have given their lives to our country, I want to remind us of another 1%. Today, less than one half of 1% of our, of our citizens serve in the active military. If you add in our reserve forces, it's roughly 1% of our adult population is responsible for the defense of our country. Compare that to the height of World War II, when over 12% were activated in the defense of our country. 
As the father of a private in the U.S. Army, I have had a small glimpse into the life of these military one percenters. Their lifestyles are not focused on stock dividends, luxury hotels, and extravagant vacations, but instead on training, duty, honor, and service. As we gather on this day to honor those that have fallen in service, let us not forget our responsibility to those who have been lost, the families they left behind, nor the men and women who have refilled their ranks. We are a country that rightly supports our troops as they march to war, but all too often we fall <coughs> short of our responsibilities to support them on their return, or God forbid, their families when they don't. Just over a month ago, on April 8th, I started my day by driving my son's carpool for school. My 20-year-old went to work locally 